I'm sorry. But I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! Darn it. Ah! Uh, ho hopefully this will this will go here soon in a minute. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe it. Hold on. Oh, it's messing up. Okay, let me try... Um, let me try the hi you guys. Welcome to welcome to the show. I knew hi Eric. Oh, oh yeah. Eric Eric had some Facebook BS. So yeah, we'll we'll talk we can talk about Facebook uh for a bit. Eric, uh nice to see you here. Okay, I'm gonna try another an, a, a different because I had this all set and prepared and ready to go and then you know to play. And then that one doesn't want to um to do it. So let me let me see if this one works. Okay, hold on. We'll do, we'll do this one. Oh my god. What a bummer. What a bummer. Um 
Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, what a bummer. Okay, um, I'm just bummed it's not playing because it, it worked before, but maybe it doesn't work while it's live streaming. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to like let that go. That wasn't gonna work, but um, we did start the show off with uh, Charlie Chaplin. Darn it! I'm really frustrated. I really want this to work. Um, and then I double checked it. I recorded it, made an extra recording of that clip, and um, and then I ended up like, uh, hold on, maybe I've got one more thing I can do. Let me just try one more thing. I might be able to download it and um, and then play it later. Um, no, I'm. This is actually here. Hold on. Um, let me go to here for a second, and um, let me see if I can just download this. Sorry about this, you guys. I'm I'm kind of bummed out that this didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um. Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to try to download it and then, um, maybe, um, do it like while the recording is going, I don't know if it's going to even let me download it. Let me see. Oh, wow. It's not even letting me download. Well, you know what? Maybe that is, um, meant to be, you know, like things happen for a reason. So sometimes you can't show something you're like, darn it. I really wanted to show that, and um, and and so it's happening for a reason. All right, you have coffee. You know what? Actually, I have like some uh, vanilla cream uh, so kind of drink soda here. Hi, RD. Welcome to the fun show. I was gonna play some fun music, and you know, and I had this whole video ready to go, and then all of a sudden, it's not playing, and. Um, well, I'll have to I'll have to make up that an, another time, but um, because what what it was, all right, and you're gonna go, oh, what what is this, right? It it was um a video, you know, I've been talking about uh, a woman. She's like, Eric's not gonna know what I'm talking about, but maybe I should 420 here. Absolutely, smoke smoke them if you got them. Um, you know, I technically. I'm not allowed to do that on on a YouTube anymore. Or you, I mean, some people do it. Uh, they don't seem to get in trouble for it. But when you're an activist about it and you come out publicly and you talk about it, um, they want to get every single little thing. And so I got a channel. Actually, I got it. I got a community guide strike on my other YouTube channel that I had, Freedom of Joyce, because I talked about uh, I, I did an interview with a guy who had a vape pen company and he described how it was made and you know the percentages of the thc and this and that and because he was doing that i got nicked because um they said that i was telling people how to make things or um giving out information you know concerning a basically an illegal drug so you can see how my party lights on too um, going here. Uh, so, so I got, I got, I got in trouble, uh, for that. And, uh, for a while I had two, two copyright strikes, um, from a woman. And I know like Eric doesn't know this person, but RD does, um, uh, uh, Christina Joanna Hart gave me a copyright strike back then because she was making these weird doll videos, uh, with Alice in Wonderland stationery, um, you know, in some sort of fight with me and Sarah Rachel Adams. And because I, you know, how the laws were like, now we can do, now I can do my banner, right? Let me put my banner across the way here. I can do a fair use banner, you know, and as long as you don't show like all of the material that somebody has, right? You, you generally, you can, you can say, well, we're, we're, we're talking about this for educational purposes. Well, you know, that didn't exist when, uh, when I, when I got nabbed and, um, I think I just did the straight upload just to show people and titled it like the weird doll video. And apparently, um, 
Christine was embarrassed by the doll video. So she removed it. And then the fact that I had it on my channel, of course, you know, we, we, she was doing that to taunt me. She gave me a copyright strike. And for some reason it struck twice. So um, the only reason why I got that channel back was because uh, I guess Christine got soft and took off her strikes and I was able to get that channel back. But that channel also now no longer exists, which is kind of a blessing. Uh, I would, you know, that I did lose that channel. And so um, this particular video that I was going to do was going to be about Rose. I think I might still play some music though, because I want it to be like a little bit more of a party atmosphere. Because tonight I have things I want to talk about loosely. Um, since Eric is here, maybe I might start with Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, there's, a, there's, um, you know, I, I did watch the, um, I don't know if you, did you guys watch the Netflix, uh, series Dahmer, uh, and, uh, and th there's just some commentary that, um, I want, I want to make on it. Uh, and maybe that's the, that maybe that's the way to lead into tonight is, uh, not talk totally the whole, you know, not start with these other characters that are in the UFO um, media or in the conspiracy world. Although, although a lot of you guys that, you know, listen to my channel, um, that's what we talk about here. You know, we're, we're, we're still, I think maybe in some ways we're kind of like traumatized about all these people who we realize are just grifters. You know, they're just, Shucking and jiving this sort of you know new age uh, you know spirituality like there's no difference between I mean how do you some people who are talking like for example uh, Barbara Marciniak with the Palladians there's no difference between you know somebody saying oh this is what real spirituality is this is what what the real reality of, of, of our existence is. You, you know, I'm making sense like, you know, crystals and, you know, the ascension and, you know, I'm going to the fifth dimension and all of this talk, right, that has always been somewhat associated with the UFO community. And then we have certain characters. Um, I, I, hope, I hope Eric's staying with me because I, I promise I'm going to get to Dahmer. I, I, I will go mainstream a little bit tonight if you consider Dahmer mainstream. But in a sense, Dahmer, Jeffrey Dahmer, actually crosses over into this particular world that I'm talking about, right? Because a lot of the conspiracies that came out of the UFO community, including people like James Casbolt, right, and Max Spears, and you know some of these people that came to the forefront and talked about the Illuminati and this and that and blah blah blah, that is where you know the cannibalism topic, right, came into being, but. Like the 17th letter of the alphabet that, you know, was involved with the insurrection that happened on January 6th at the, you know, right, was part of and connected to the people that brought this topic in as part of their narrative, only that the narrative for them, only the only people who were doing things like this, like cannibalism or whatever, happened to be the Democrats. Like, like, as if they're like, as if the Republicans were, you know, pure in any type of this sort of behavior, like as if like there were no Republicans that were on the, on Jeffrey Epstein's flight, the Lolita flight, right? Like did, did like, as if Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein never had a Republican in his little black book. And so, okay, good. I still got six of you listening to me. So I must be on the track to somewhere because you know, that that this topic, right, this hot button that people talk about that involved children, right, and the woman that I was going to show doing something, which I'll have to do on another show because the reason why it didn't happen because it wasn't meant to happen. 
Because I always think, not to sound totally woo, but things happen for a reason. You know, like maybe there's just a reason that I'm not supposed to show that. Maybe it's too provocative. But what it is, it that video that I was going to show, and it's on a channel. I believe the channel is called DD Dancer on YouTube. Is Team Rose, Deborah Director, all right, who is an actress that was in also in the movie In the Bedroom. There was a movie called In the Be In the Bedroom that started. Sissy Spacek and Tom Wilkinson. And she has kind of a minor part, but quite a few lines in it. And she is a key player in a sense. I mean, she's not a big name. Like I'm pretty sure like Eric doesn't know who team Rose is or who Deborah director is, you know, like, although she does have it, she is on I am I am DB or IMBD database for actors and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I know, I know that I know, I know about I am DB. I'm on, I'm on that. I'm on the, you know, I mean, like, in a sense, you're like, well, why should we listen to Terry? I, she's just a comedian. You know, she's also an actor. So, so what, what is her sense of credibility as anything that she, like, is speaking about? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what my credibility is. I was part of this media. Right? Like, I knew Rose because she was part of this media talking about the same things that we're talking about that blew up into something that like Eric said, Oh, hi, Jeff. Eric says, you know, nap time, time to finish rolling. Yeah, baby. Eric talks about how he got censored on Facebook. Let's, let's talk about being censored on Facebook. Well, part of the censorship that's happening on Facebook has to do with like what we've been talking about. Like has to do with, uh, you know, Isaac Cappy and, you know, Alex Jones and, um, you know, rhetoric that gets labeled under this particular banner. Hmm? So the video I had, and I had put music to it, was it looks like, it looks like she's playing with herself a little bit. Like it's not dirty, dirty, but it kind of like, it looks like she's playing, like it looks like Deborah is playing with herself with the crystal on, you know, manipulating the crystal between her boobs that are all like, I'm just describing it. Maybe it's better for me to describe it. I don't, I don't have those kind of boobs, but the kind of boobs that you just shove up and it's like, and then there's a crystal and then there's Barbara Marciniak or Melchiak or, you know, from the Palladians on the part where she talks about sex and stuff like that. And it looks like she's doing something or it's just very interesting. And this woman that's doing that back then on a channel with a different name who has various pseudonames, on, had various pseudonames on Facebook because they've already done shows about this and discovered it and reported it and everything, right? On Facebook, alter personalities. I, I, I won't say, you know, personalities, but personas has become involved, not only from like talking about super soldiers, right? Like she's she she was a big component in the circus after Max Spears' death. The media circus that happened around it. She was featured in the BBC as being one of the nutty people doing channelings, you know, about Max and like what Max might be saying for the, uh, from the other side, or she's told people that Max isn't really dead, or she's told people that, oh, he's really actually really a clone. And what I find interesting about this particular woman, just like me in a sense, right? Uh, you know, I'm doing a YouTube channel. I've, I've done various incarnations of, show titles or, you know, whatever. My name doesn't change though. Like my name on Facebook, my name on Twitter, my name on, in my name on the IMBD, you know, on, you know, for acting, for being on last comic standing, blah, 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 blah. Terry Joyce doesn't change. Now, you know, there are other, I mean, I have a legal name, you know, that I have a legal name that has a married last name that I got divorced from. But, like, you know I'm me. Like, 
I'm not going to be able to like pretend, you know, get in front of a camera and talk to you guys and go, my God, that looks like Terry Joyce. I mean, she's calling herself something different, but I know that's her. Right. I mean, I, I can create not my rabbit hole and I can take freedom of Joyce and I can create Hollywood Hemptress. But the, but the one factor that's inside of it all is myself. And I don't have another acting name on IMBD like she does. Her acting name's Deborah Director, but then again, she goes by Rose or Crystal Rose Montgomery or Crystal Montgomery or Clarissa, whatever. But what I think is interesting now is that she has hybrided herself oh, from the super soldier stuff, right? From, I mean, like she talks about Kim Gagoin. Kim Gagoin said this, and then she's like, she brags about being bloodline and goes into that, you know, I'm RH negative, which by the way, I think when people run around and act like they're superior because they're RH negative, I think it smacks of the eugenics. So like, I'm royalty. I got blue blood. I'm part of the Illuminati. You know, I've got I've got something special that you don't, which is something that people in this in this media do. Everybody's special. Everybody has special gifts and talents. Everybody has something, some sort of spiritual quasi whatever that they've hybrided themselves, whether it be new age shit or whether it's actually Christianity or whatever it is, they are shucking and jiving it and they call themselves super soldiers at the same time. Hello, Halle Baglio. Right? Holly Baglio, another person who says that they're a super soldier that has now done a video about how God gave her a covenant and did a scripture out of Ecclesiastics, I believe it is, about the shepherd, right? And that whole thing where God is saying, you are now part of my covenant. Like if you are a believer in God and a worshiping God, you know, you are in his flock. But Holly's interpreted it as, to my understanding, she's interpreted it to be her own covenant. Miss Sepsis. Sandra DeRoy is, you know, giving an explanation of how, I don't know, the, the Archons have this planet into a, a, a prison planet. And if you don't believe what she's saying, you're not even human. We have a man named Stephen D. Kelly. Let's talk about Stephen for a minute. We got a man named Stephen D. Kelly who is telling people that he is also a super soldier and he has a, you know, a, a deity and attached, you know, part of himself in the other dimensions that's called Rambo, that he is a Jedi warrior for. Do you realize that pretty much all Steven has done is taken the word Jedi from the Star Wars series and then put the, put a warrior behind it? I don't know if any, I said this would be the fun time show. It, you know, it's just me, like, it, you know, I've got a few things to show you, but it's just like my thoughts right now about stuff. You know, I had, I had, I, I, I saw, I saw this um, sippy talker, right? She's made a couple of videos about me and this and that. And, you know, because like now I've pretty much shown how people associated to Team Rose are actually blackmailing each other and hacking each other on YouTube. And I, I got that to show too, you know, just a little clip of that. So you can like, because so, you can realize I'm not making it up when I say, you know, I look into one person and then some people attached to that person are peripherally talking about the same topic, which is underage children or people or what happens to them. Right? And then you got that little cannibalism factor. <laughs> Which maybe I'll just start with this video. I'll, I'll, I'll start with the, the topic of cannibalism and how and how it's been going on. Hold on. You bring this up. I've got some stuff saved to show you. This is, and, and by the way, 
I have, um, I made this video a while ago and I'm, and again, I'm signing fair use. I mean, I believe, you, I don't know if I show uh, fair use in this. This is uh, from a guy who has a YouTube channel called Morning Glory XL. And it is Lionel Royale. And, you know, he's going to talk about some of these true crime. I mean, he's going to mention Dolly Vision, which is a, um, a, you know, a true crime uh, channel that's been looking for a little girl named Summer Wells. And over now, it's something that Rose has been obsessing on and just accusing. He, she, according to Rose, it's about satanic ritual abuse. And um, another guy who I think is a phony pedo hunter, Ernie Shell. We can get into Ernie, but, you know, in a nutshell, he wears a cowboy hat and he's supposed to be a bounty hunter. And he's got this big old mug and he's all smiling. He's like, all right. And I was like, I'm finding these kids. But the thing that bugs me about Ernie Shell is that for a while, and this is when they first looked into him, and then he still has it. But he was taking donations for a nonprofit that he doesn't really have nonprofit status for. Like, oh, we're getting our non um, our, our nonprofit for it. But but you're still taking donations and you're telling people that you're finding these kids missing children. But it it it's it's never it's I'd be an edible, I suppose. Um, yeah, RD, kind of like making alts and arguing with yourself on on um, on social media. All right, I want I want some. Uh, oh, okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of this video, and then we'll get into the cannabis topic and the and the and the Dolly Vision and everything. This is Lionel Royale, and I wouldn't know him if I wasn't looking into Rose or talking about Rose, who's not really Rose, really Deborah. There's just more devil. We've been looking down at the devil. And he's not sexy like me, you see. You like sexy. And you want everybody to fall into your train of thought. But when they listen to you, they know it's just somebody like me, not important, not smart enough, but you have enough money to spend $20 a month. I, I nearly signed up to Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Dolly. I love it. Yes, I watch it every morning. It's like 8 a.m. in the morning. I, and soon I will be a member when I have my... What is it? It's a lot more in my rands to the dollars, but who cares? It'll be worth it. And I want my t-shirt. But they're all talking about, that's what women talk about, young six-year-olds. Is that what you're all gonna be talking about? Young six-year-olds. Whether you're against it or not, you know, all, all of the sites that I'm watching, all the women, all the wives, save the children, you know, 600, 700, 800,000 children a year go missing in America alone. And they get eaten. People eat what they kill on my continent that I tell you. People eat what they kill. You eat what you kill to show that you own it. You eat the brains, you eat the heart. The flesh I hear is a bit tough. Horse is more tender. So, yes, didn't you watch Silence? Clarice? Prit quo, pro. Quit crap. I always get that wrong. I want one hundred million dollars, right? Yeehaw. 
If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeehaw. Okay, as hard as that subject might be hard to listen to, and I, and I, I yeah, that, I'm just, I was just going to get to that. Eric, like, I, I, I was watching, like, the, the video, and I was just going to get to the fact that you knew Jeffrey Dahmer's um, mother, because Jeffrey Dahmer's mother mo moved to Fresno, California, which I think is kind of interesting, and at the end, uh, spoiler alert. Okay, I'm just if you if you if, if you haven't watched it yet, you go blah, 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 blah. okay. But maybe you it's probably pu public knowledge because it was in the it was in the show, the series. But they took his brain it, instead of like completely cre cremating him at, at first. They took his brain and they wanted to have it analyzed at Fresno State University. And I was like, what? Like. Why Fresno State? Because they were trying to figure out how, um, you know, what is in the mind of, you know, a cannibal or a serial killer uh, like like Jeffrey Dahmer. And, and the thing that's interesting about Jeffrey Dahmer, too, is um, the fact that it was mostly black men or or people of of color, whether it, they were you know Laotian or Asian or you know, but predominantly black gay men, and how the police department pretty much just like ignored it, like they were just like you know they let they they were just like oh yeah you know like there's like in the series you'll see where he has an underage the guy the boy it was a boy well if he's 15 and um Dahmer's neighbor if you've probably seen it was going hey you know he's underage underage and then Jeffrey Dahmer walks up and he goes oh he's my boyfriend and you know he's 19 and blah 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 and you know we, he drank too much but he was really dr drugged by him and trying to get away from him and of course he dies and then the family is a very much part of plays out in the series by the way, the series is directed by Jennifer Lynch, which is David Lynch's daughter. And um, she also just, uh, there's another series, which I recommend watching on Netflix called The Watcher. Has Bobby, I don't know, how do you say it? Can Cannibali, I think his name is. And Naomi Watts in it. And this is interesting, too, because these people move into this ancient, this old, you know, this neighborhood, upper, 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 you know, the, the, the you know, country club people. And, uh, and, and so there's a watcher. There's, you know, they want to, it's with underground tunnels that connect the houses because of prohibition. And uh, it also goes into the 17th letter of the alphabet. And it goes into the conspiracy of the drinking blood, the adrenochrome and all this kind of stuff. And then one of the characters goes, yeah, and then, you know, says the word Buanon. We can't say it here, but in the movie, they say Buanon. Because, you know, I have to call it Buanon because of, because of the AI, right? How, we, we know that we have to call it Buanon because even if you're talking about it in a negative aspect, it doesn't matter. The AI doesn't care. Remember when instead of F U, you reply eat me ha that seems to have faded <laughs> oh the alcohol was very strong in the founders reunion eric we we just went to our high school reunion recently eric and i so we we reconnected um you know at our at our high school reunion so did some of the people at the Founders Union seem fake? Like, like how fake? Like just like fake people? Like they were, they were, they were the fake people they were when they were in high school. High school's an interesting experience. Good start through classic Chaplin. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start a little bit of music here. 
And um, just to kind of play in the background, just to kind of pep things up a little bit. Browse. I'm going to browse. I'm going to go with gamer. I want to I wanna listen to gamer music. Here we go. So just let this play in the background. Tell me if it's too loud. Just kind of like change the mood a little bit because I, I wanted I, I I had some cool music underneath that video I was gonna show you but it doesn't fit if you're just gonna be talky but this kind of music I think is sort of like like you can just kind of this one's kind of mellow but it, it it'll do better just kind of going in the background okay so if Dahmer was on FB, do you think he would post? <laughs> Wait. If Dahmer was on FB, do you think he would post the meals he made? Recipes. You know, I mean, a lot, some people think that, you know, like that, that there's, okay, if you, if you listen to some people talk about it, they think that that we're being in, integrated to accept the idea of cannibalism. You know, getting back to cannibalism and about how it how it's been around historically and it, and at what point? I mean, you know, I tutor biology and anthropology right now, and last semester when I was taking uh, anthropology the first time, the topic of cannibalism came up. And of course, our instructor says, don't do it. You know, don't, don't, don't do cannibalism. It's, it's, you know, he's like, if you, there's certain parts of the body that if you eat it, and especially more for women, if they eat it, like for example, they get, they get a disease. I mean, it's because of the K, cush something or cous something, or if you eat certain parts, of it, like it, you can, it can give you a neuro, neuro, it'll basically kill you. It'll, it'll affect your ner nervous system. Um, so it's not good. But our earlier versions of ourselves, the earlier homonyms that existed, are bipedal ancestors that we had, our bipedal relatives that are that went extinct. They also, you know, there's proof that they engaged in cannibalism. And, you know, I'm wondering, if, was it, you know, and, and they say, okay, and also there's a ceremonial aspect to it. And then, you know, there's this underlying thing of satanic panic or a satanic practice or aspect of it. And then when you get into the WikiLeaks that happened, you get into some of the conspiracies that went down. Uh, and and why it got leaked and what was in those files because there's John Podesta's emails right that had all that FBI code word stuff going on and then you had the you know something that you like to eat and it could be cheese like pizza right gate right that took place that was a forerunner of the 17th letter of the alphabet and what went underneath all of that which now the reason why I'm giving this background again, and maybe like I know Eric's here, maybe he maybe he knows this, maybe he doesn't know this or whatever, but we're talking, you know, you might know, right? That those those emails with John Podesta, then you have Tony Podesta that even spur the can, you know, the can the conspiracy even more because he had art of like the bodies were positioned that, that you know, that Johnny, um, not Johnny, but that um, Jeffrey Dahmer did. Like like that that art where it, the, the body's completely arched, there's no head, and then there's the, you know, the legs going by. That is how he positioned those bodies. And it is possible that that position of the body had something to do with the ritual. And also, and I'm just going to say this, because then you get the satanic aspect 
of Jeffrey Dahmer, because even in the series, you see like one of the first shots, you see a picture of, um, of, a, of, of a satanic Bible and the Anton LaVey one sitting on the, on, 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 on his, you know, come on, give me the whole playlist. Um, no tracks. Okay. Let me, let me go to another thing. So you see, you see the Bible sitting there, satanic Bible. And then like, he's watching like the exorcist three as part of what was going on. And then it was said, Oh, well, you know, he completely forgot about what he was doing. Hold on. Sometimes he lost himself on what he was doing. I'll let this go in the background. Oh, gross. Blessed ha ha over the lips, past the gums, look out stomach, here it comes. I wonder if the food was blessed prior to conception. Probably not. But I do want to share something with you on, on this Jeffrey Dahmer idea and what I'm talking about and how it, it might have had a connection to Satanism. Um, and there's another video I want to show you from a channel called Black Balloon. Just a bit of it. Okay, so check out this, guys. of 1990, Dahmer was held up at gunpoint at a bus stop. Police questioned him about the incident in his apartment. Thursday, the police chief said no one could go in that apartment and not notice something was wrong. Today, he appeared shaken at the thought Jeffrey Dahmer slipped through his police force's hands time and time again. The Chicago Police Department acknowledged today it heard rumors that a serial killer was stalking the gay community on our own city's north side. Word began spreading six weeks ago that gay young men were missing from the area. One was 23-year-old Jeremiah Weinberger, who is among the victims of Jeffrey Dahmer. Police say even though they heard the rumors, there was no hard evidence to back any of it up. We base what we do on, on facts, on reported crime, and, and we really didn't see anything you know, to, to qualify those rumors. Some residents complained that the police ignored the rumors because they were coming from the gay community, charge that authorities deny. Police say there were similar rumors last November when a dismembered body was found in the 4300 block of North Kenmore. Authorities have ruled out any connection in that death to Jeffrey Dahmer. Bill, we're live outside Jeffrey Dahmer's backyard where the excavation work continued today. Police did find two more bones, but they're also digging into Jeffrey Dahmer's past, trying to find out why he may have started killing. They're investigating everything from the Dahmer's parents' divorce to occult worship here in the backyard, and in now a new revelation, charges that Dahmer was abused sexually as a child. Ohio prosecutors confirmed they are checking, but find no record of any molestation of Jeffrey Dahmer as a child. No, not, not at this time. I, you know, our investigation hasn't turned up anything of that nature. Police are also investigating Jeff Dahmer's with the occult. In among the bones found the past two days are animal skeletons. Prosecutors say neighbors have told police of finding sacrificed animals and have turned in pictures of the discoveries to police. It's my understanding that 
they have pictures of animals uh, that were killed. Um, and it, it appears that the killing was in some type of um, ritualistic process, uh, if you will. Jeffrey Dunn, shown here in his prom date outfit, Wyatt Earp tie and all, was a high school oddball. And to his only teenage girlfriend, he was a frightening young man. Bridget Geiger went to the Revere High School senior prom as Jeff Dahmer's date. She was a sophomore, he was a senior. The prom date went fine. Dahmer was quiet and polite. But later at his parents' house, where police have now found human bones buried in the backyard, Geiger says she ran for her life as Dahmer and her friends called a seance and tried to talk to Satan. They decided to hold the seance, and I was brought up Catholic, and we were told you don't challenge the occult. I've always been brought up this way. You don't challenge things like this. They, they, you think they do exist, but you just don't mess around with them. Geiger says the group went to a dark den in the house, gathered in a circle, and just as they thought they had made contact, Geiger was spooked. And the candle, all of a sudden, it snapped and sparked and popped, and I don't recall it looking like anybody blew it out. I didn't like this. I'm like, find the lights. I'm out of here now. This is not funny if it's a joke. And I went and stood across the street. I don't know how long. Till I, and they said, when they were done, they could come out and get me. Prosecutors are not taking the dumbers of the dabbling into the occult as a joke either. In fact, they do admit that they are investigating heavily. Other chilling memories from Dahmer's past are still very much alive in Ohio tonight. Memories of a prom date, a seance, and a ghost. Channel 2's Jim Avila tells us that Dahmer may have participated in satanic worship. Before there were bones in the backyard, there were ghosts in the bedroom. That's what Jeffrey Dahmer told high school friends. His only teenage girlfriend, seen with Dahmer just before their high school prom in 1978, says Jeffrey was a frightening young man. She'll never forget the party at his house where no food, no drinks were served. The only thing on the menu was a spiritual call to the devil. They decided to hold the seance, and I was brought up Catholic, and we were told you don't challenge the occult. The plan had been to call this guy that supposedly haunted his house. In fact, Dahmer's high school prom date calls him an oddball and never saw him again after the seance spooked her out of the house and out of the relationship. Some guy says, no, let's try to get Lucifer. That'd be even better. And the candle, all of a sudden, it snapped and sparked and popped. And I don't recall it looking like anybody blew it out. I didn't like this. I'm like, find the lights. I'm out of here now. Prosecutors are taking Dahmer's brushes with the occult seriously. Along with the human bones found on this property are dozens of animal bones. And police have pictures provided by neighbors of animals who were brutally sacrificed in Dahmer's huge backyard. It appears that the killing was in some type of... Um ritualistic all right y'all so first things first i kind of okay want to so this section as a disclaimer i'm know, gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna know, stop it um, right this here video is gonna dig into the occult worship and this, is, this is a good video if you want to watch the whole thing but i want to um skip it up um a few frames um because there's a testimony here, and then, um, but I want to get to that the art that I was telling you about by uh, Tony Podesta. So I think he's got a. Um, there it is. Okay, um, this part right here. You see it? That is. This is Tony Podesta. Um, you know, on on the right. Okay, and the, and and this is something that circulated, and this is the real victim here. So just so you you know. So it's the same position, and um, Dahmer decapitated the victim, but posed symbolically the imagery of the ancient of the ancients is a is evoked. So it's some sort of. Let me. I'll, I'll play a little bit of this here. And he's in the same pose. Here. Of this. Hold. Um. Start it about like let go right here. They came across seven skulls, two hearts, severed hands, skeletons, and dismembered torsos, along with Polaroid photos of the victims, saws, knives, a drill, and acid. Now, for the last part of this video, when we get into the Polaroid photos, we can't leave out. I don't want to show this photo too long, so I'm going to show it for a little bit just in case this gets flagged and I'm going to black the screen out. This photo is called the Ancient of Ancients. Now, there was a reason that this photo was one of the photos they showed in the series. 
You remember in the first episode when a cop went through the photos and they showed this picture of the body, one of the bodies that Jeff had, you know, uh, he'd already cut the dude head off. And he's in the same pose of this sculpture here that's inside of Tony Podesta's home. Now, this was a, um, this was one of those politicians that was involved in that whole scandal with, um, with the Clintons and all of the child sex trafficking stuff and so on and so on. Not going to go too far in that because I don't want to, you know, ring off. Okay. So that, that's okay. So you see, you see how this, you guys see how this connects, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying that, 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 but, but, but somehow, I mean, you, you, it's like, well, okay. So that footage talking about him doing this at that time, you know, like the series only hints at the occult aspect of it. Like if you want, in my opinion, you see a little bit of, uh, uh, in the Bible in the beginning of the satanic Bible in the first, in the first shot, almost the first few shots, right. When he brings up the guy home for the, setting up the series because we don't start from the beginning you start in the kind of in like right before he gets he gets found uh, that's where the series starts and then and then it goes backwards right you don't hear anything about him dating anybody or you know except for these like you see the news clips but the show focuses on what he did and then it focuses on uh you know, the, the, the men and the people, the victims and the racial, there's a hint of, there's a spackling of the racial incident behind it. Like the, the black community feels that the police were systemic about how they handled the case. That's a big factor in this too as well. And then you have the fact that Jeffrey Jeffrey Dahmer was a white guy doing this, so it 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 brings back it it, it has that element to it, and you can't deny you know like in the, in the series he says, well, is what did you do it because you're you you know it's because you're you're prejudiced or you're racist, and he goes, no, I did it because they thought they were beautiful, is what he says in the series. But that's a script too that we're watching as a movie. I guess like they have to be factual about the movie. Similar pose, yeah. And apparently it's it, it's a the pose is similar, and and apparently it's it's like some sort of like he called it the ancient of the ancients pose. Like it's got like like a no like it's got a history to pose somebody like that. I'm just questioning it. Like I'm just bringing this other aspect to, to, to some of the stuff that's on, you know, that, that was in the past, like in the past, the media went there. Now, do you think that that's satanic panic? When did satanic panic happen? Cause satanic panic Happened with the McMartin Priestel case. Nineteen eighties, and Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer arrest. Nineteen ninety four. Oh, he died. When was he arrested? Hold on. 1991. So satanic panic had already happened. He he was arrested in 1991. So so the McMartin happened in the 80s. I don't know. Not exact enough to work out in a ritual. How, how do you how do you mean not not exact?
just eight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Shameless plug for myself for a second. Um, I'm in this competition for New Beauty Magazine. And the final, like, the final voting is tomorrow at 7. And I'm going to put in, there's a link in the description if you see this. I mean, it's not good for me to follow this up with, like, um, you know, Jeffrey. Like, I'm, I'm talking about Jeffrey Dahmer. And then I'm going to go, hey, and by the way, I'm in a contest. <laughs> Vote for me. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, the art. Because the art to me looks pretty close to the actual thing. Are you saying that you don't think that it has any, there's no connection? It was just, it was just art. And then it has no connection to the way his body was posed. Maybe. I mean, did anybody ever ask Tony Padet to, Tony Podesta about that art like it did it I mean it, it is it just a, a, a coincidence that it looked was posed the same way because a lot of people use that use that that connection during the time where we when we went through the 17th letter of the alphabet stuff they use that photo and that can that Jeffrey Dahmer connection on purpose Okay, but here's here's the um, I'm going to show you how I'm in the contest, and I'm going to give the link here in the chat for a shameless plug because you know maybe somebody like listened to this video this far because this show I'm kind of like like I'm not I'm just kind of doing like I had some things I wanted to talk about I thought it might be fun to live stream a little bit tonight I just don't really have anything. I thought, oh yeah, you know, I'll throw this. I'm kind of thrown off because I there's this, the video that I wanted to show you, but I'm thinking I might have already downloaded it. Okay, enough about that. But yeah, I'm in second place right now, or I was the last time I like I was in first place this morning, so it's a real close thing. Um, right now we're in the preliminaries, uh, so if I win by tomorrow night. I'll go on to the next level. But if I take second place tomorrow night, um, I will be brought back into a wild card competition. So if, if I even hold second place, um, I still have a possibility of staying in the competition. So you can vote once a day for free. Or if you want to do a, a donation, then you then I get more votes. But um, And then the donation goes towards breast cancer awareness. So it's Fab Over 40. Uh, New Beauty Magazine. I'm just pushing it as much as I can. I know my I, I've, I've been doing a lot on social media. I feel like I might be annoying people now. But, um, you know, it's kind of like what you have to do if you're going to do something like this. All right. So let me check and see if I have the downloaded version of, of that video. I might have downloaded. If I do it, I still might be able to play it. MP4. No. Darn it. Bummer. <sighs> Not meant. I have to just accept that. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, move off Jeffrey Dahmer here for a moment. Um, but I did pull up some stuff about Rose. And I know like people like may go, oh, I, I, I don't care about this person. I know, I know like I've got some people like, I don't know what you're talking about here. But back in February of last month, I had noticed, like, I was still friends with Rose and her many, like, Facebook profiles. And she was going on and on about this true crime uh, broadcaster and saying that, you know, that they were trying to kill her. And also a guy named Benny Keys. Apparently this woman named Avery Shannon had paid Benny Keys like $10,000 to kill her. 
And I was thinking, why? Right. And then I, there was a picture and there was a story about a little missing girl named Harmony Montgomery. And one of the profiles that Rose has was Crystal Montgomery. I watched the video. Um, I, I, I saw Avery's channel for the first time. And, um, you know, I thought it was odd that the mother's name is Crystal and the, and the father's name was Montgomery. And that was the name of one of like Rose's profiles. And I was like, well, that's weird. And so I asked, I, you know, I ended up trying to get the information out of her. I go, why do you realize that, you know, your name is similar to kind of like the parent's name of this missing little girl. And she was going crazy over this woman. And then I found out that Rose was getting kicked out of these chat rooms for instigating arguments. And she was like really aggressive in the chat rooms and stuff like that. And that sh they were claiming that she was using multiple profiles in the chat room to, to create havoc and stuff. And then I started thinking, well, does that make Rose like a troll? Like, who is she really? Like, if you were to do a profile on T now she's Team Rose. She's been Rose Blueprint 4848. She's a Deborah D.D. Dee Dee dancer. She has like, she has all these different personas, all these different names on Facebook where you might, I mean, come on. The, the thing about social media that really is uh, advantageous maybe for some people is the fact that they can, they can create different personas. You can catfish somebody. You can troll somebody. You can have somebody block one uh, one of your profiles, and then you can, you know, get a dummy phone or get whatever, and then and then spy on the person that blocked you. I'm I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, even some of the people that might be looking at this is probably going to go, yeah, I know. You may have done that. You may do that now. I don't know. I only have one profile on, on on like everything that I've created on on social media. It's just me, because like when you're branding, like you brand yourself on social media. Like Eric was saying, well, I might have to you know go off armchair warriors. Yeah, I might I might have to get you know I might leave Facebook. You can leave Facebook, but you're not gonna you're not right now. Facebook is embedded with Instagram and Instagram's embedded with, you know, WhatsApp and, you know, YouTube is one of the biggest search engines out there. You know, Google, Facebook, you know, if you have a business, if you're branding yourself, whatever, like, like if you, if you're on Facebook and they go, you know what, for 29 days, everything that you say is going to go like towards the bottom pile, you know, the end, the bottom of the pile. What, what is that? That cripples you. That could cripple you financially if that's what you're doing. Man, I'm losing people. Like, I don't know. She's just rambling. I, it's not, I'm not, I don't want to really listen about this. Okay. You know, that's fine. I probably won't stay that long tonight because I'm, I'm kind of like even, Maybe I'm like tired a little bit, but I still want to go on with my point about this, whether anybody's watching right now or not, <clears throat> who cares, right? It's, it's, it's a fun time party, even if it's a party of one. Um, okay, hold on. So all this stuff goes down and now, and I, and I did some videos. I did, I did a video about this. I did about it, about her. I met some of these people that were also talking about her at that time or it seemed like it, but then they got real gang stocky and weird. So I don't know what to think about them. And then, you know, an update that I want to share with you on this is the incon that she's she's not she's incongruent in what she does all right for example like 
she's gotten into all these like kids, right? Like Summer Wells and this true crime stuff and threw in this satanic ritual abuse kind of thing on every single case that's going in the media. And yet she can do a video like this where she is perfectly okay with men being with 12 year old girls. So I'm gonna play you this video too, just really quick. Sorry, I'm a little discombobulated tonight. It's kind of like a, just a... And she's my bitch, and she will tell me what. I'm not with a group, Rose. I'm my own only me, but I do love the cows. <laughs> well, country girl, you know, you've always been friendly to me. I mean, a lot of us, it's the fake rap. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, um, this is from a um, site called Traders Amongst Us. And I've just discovered her. She's been like covering a lot of this Ernie Shell, uh, Dolly Vision stuff. And um, the fake pedo hunters, the people that are actually, I, I think they're, obstructing real investigations. And I'm going to show you an example of that too, before the night's out. Hold on. Let me share this again. So let's go here. Okay. Thank you. 12 is absolutely 12. Yes. And tell the King of England when he sent all the, his men out to collect, in like what 1800 rose this was 1990 12 year old menstruating girls and the king would have thus then this part i'm still sick over which is why it's taking me two days to put out this video sex with those 12 year old girls that would be the king is the king the highest in the land what the hell is he doing is he allowed 12 you menstruate you're going to get laid. That's how it was back in the 50s. You menstruate, you're going to get laid. That's how it was in the 1500s. I cut her off just a second early. But she says 1500s. Not 1990. But in Rose's twisted mind, it's okay. Because it was 30 years ago. Again, if you killed somebody... In 1990, you'd still be called a murderer today. You menstruate, you're going to get laid. That's how it was back in the 1500s. Well, it's still that way. Seriously, come on. Well, it's still that way, she says. That's... <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a breath. <laughs> Almost threw my phone. Let's continue. Seriously, come on. M men are raping their daughters left, right, and center, and I honestly don't think that Jimbo's doing that. It Again. I'm not saying he's... Okay, raping. see, the I'm reason why I, I want to play I, I, this for you guys is because I find it really interesting that this is a person who is you know pointing fingers to people about uh, another missing little girl named summer wells at six years old she's all over this true crime stuff she's all over these 
when I say channels that are part of the circus, a big distraction on YouTube that calls themselves a true crime uh, community. She's basically, you know, I've, I've shown videos where she's, where she's, she's paying these guys. She's paying Ernie shell. She's paying uh, Dolly vision donations and stuff. When people give you donations, it's hard to be objective, right? Like we look at the mainstream media and we go, Oh, well, how come they're pushing this remedy and that remedy and this thing and that jab and blah, 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 blah. Well, because they're funny by Pfizer, you know, it's like Pfizer, you know, when you, we, that's a problem that we have. So, you know, uh, it's, you, somehow, uh, you know, t even, even team Rose has admitted, like I pay these people. I've, I've played videos before where she's like, I pay these people. You can see them on my past videos if you want to. You know, I, I'm probably going to do like a Rose playlist now because I've, I've, I've had, you know, so, so many of them. Why does this bother me? Like, why, why am I even talking about it? Like, why should I, why should I even care about this? Well, I care about the truth. I, I care about how, what media is. Like for me, that's why I decided to go back and go to school and get a degree in journalism and digital journalism, because I think that what we are doing here on YouTube or any place has value. And you can see how the media treats a topic or how uh, a movie will depict something. Like, for example, you know, we're watching the movie Dahmer. Okay, so we watch Dahmer. So we think we could, because of the way the movie's written, we think, well, that's all it is. But you have to realize you're still seeing it through the lens of, of a script, an approved script by Netflix. Now I can show you another video here on YouTube where, you know, we can see um, past news sources that are, are showing that the news at that time kind of, you know, questioned whether or not there was an occult aspect to Jeffrey Epstein. Like we see a hint of the satanic, satanic Bible in the opening shot. So you're, so we're getting pieces of our history or pieces of what we are as people. And I think it's interesting that someone who came into, who's spewing this UFO, quasi new age spirituality that hybrids with these stories. When you, when you, when we look at the whole super soldier thing, we, when we see where, oh, okay, well, Carrie Cassidy came out into the forefront and there's this super soldier aspect to, you know, to, to, to these stories, to this narrative. This narrative that runs with the, the trafficking of children, that runs with, you know, the cannibalism. We have like uh, Angela Power Disney, you know, her entire channel on YouTube. She came from Bases and the and 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 the you know the Bases project with Miles Johnston. She has a basis in that. We have Simon Parks, who you know also came out of talking about aliens and this and that, and this is the truth, and on Carrie Cassidy show, shows and stuff, and yet he's part of the 17th letter of the alphabet or the Patriot movement, and he's not even really, uh, you know, he's not even a, a United States citizen, but he's identifying as Trump being his president. When we when we when we break it down, like what happened with the 17th letter of the alphabet and where it went to, it went global. It didn't just stay in the United States. It was Australia. And there's, you know, there's people that lost themselves into this narrative of something that might have some sort of basis in truth. But the media, whether it be the mainstream media or this media, muckies it all up. You have all these talking heads. You have all these people. You have all this drama happening. Why are these YouTube channels fighting within each other? Like, why, why is Rose causing, you know, pointing fingers at people from her channel and accusing them as being responsible for the murder of somebody or a little girl, but she doesn't have any, any evidence. And yet she can do a video like I just played right now 
where she is, she's basically, you know, going off and saying, well, it's okay to be 12 years old and get married. You know, like the king was doing in it back in the 1500s. What difference does it make? So she's not consistent in her belief system. And who else do we see like that? You know, like we, I, I've done shows on Lauren Pritchard. Lauren Pritchard, you know, says one thing about Jesus and he says, you know, then all of a sudden Jesus is also Lucifer or she's, she's, you know, quoting one Bible verse one way. And then there's something else happened. Like all of these guys are not consistent in your, in your, in, in, in what they say is okay or why they're going after something. I think possibly, and this is my theory about who Deborah Director is. It bothers me that she's an actress. And yet, and she's registered with, like, I'm, I'm apparently, in order to be in a movie like she was in, you have to be in the Screen Actors Guild. I seriously doubt she got paid non union. And if she is, like, in the IMBD database, as Deborah Director, which is a which is an acting name. I don't know if it's her real name, but it's an it's a name that would have branded her. And yet she has decided to call herself Rose. Is that her middle name? And again, anybody can create any persona that they want to on YouTube. You can call yourself any name. We all have, I mean, look, n nobody hardly ever, hardly anybody has normal names. Really. Most people have like some sort of handle and then you see them in there in the chat, but you know, it, it's just, it's, 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 you know, thermal mermaid. Let's just use one example of what that is. But why would somebody do that? And why would somebody do so much of it? And why would somebody create a, a profile called Crystal Montgomery, but the profile on Facebook spews right-wing conspiracies, anti-vax posts, but it's just that particular one. You might see like a video to, to about her or, you know, Team Rose or something like that. But you see her sharing like what it's like, it's like a profile is dedicated to that. but not her main profile. To me, people who do, I think, people that have, to, who have multiple personas online and they, and they have those accounts and they're not telling everybody totally, oh, it's me or whatever. Then, then are, you, are you spewing? Are you part of it? Are you part of the propaganda? Do you really care about missing little girls? You're saying sociopaths. Or is it a network of people that were, I'm sounding like a conspiracy theorist, but we're dealing with psychological warfare here. Like the media does engage in a, le a level of propaganda and psychological warfare. If you think about it, any super soldier that came out on the scene and, and, and was talking about things and what they did and where they were, they all have, a, they all have difficulty actually verifying that anything that they're saying is true. Really, like anybody could come up and make up anything that they wanted to say, and if they were if convincing enough with doing it, like I'm a bounty hunter and I've got blank, 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 and I'm, 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 I'm saving the you know the planet or children or there's children under the Getty. I'm a psychic warrior. I can heal you. Anybody could say those things. Anybody could come out and go, oh, I've got the, the knowledge. 
I'm the person that you, that you can have that I can, you know, I can heal you or whatever. And, and there are a lot of people that look to me like they believe it. Like there are people that will go to the length to defend Sarah Rachel Adams and go, yeah, she's got the story. She knows how it is. And we get into these arguments, like, for example, like the, the sippy talker person. That's not her real name. I know her real name. If that's her real name, the one that was communicating with me through Facebook over Rose or whatever. And, you know, if, if I have a different feeling about somebody or, you know, a different feeling about occult practices or someone who might think has occult practices or I don't believe in their perspective on what's going down, then I get really persecuted. Like I get like all these threats and everything, or, you know, I've got like Lionel Royale coming at me and going, Oh, you know what? You're, you, you know, giving me lessons about satanic panic when in fact, I'll talk about these topics. Like I'll talk about it like right now, tonight, just shoot the breeze or whatever. But my channel is not a pedo hunter channel. I mean, like I might talk about it or I might talk about the players that are like, you know, talking about it. And I, you know, obviously it, it, it does really happen. I think we need to talk about it. We need to say it's not okay, but I'm not taking donations for it. I'm not, I'm not telling you, I'm not having people sign petitions to the White House to ask them to come in and bring the military to figure out what's going on in, in the Getty. You know, you know what I think that is? I think that, that that's really dangerous. See, Stephen jumped on the Buanon bandwagon. I saw him do it. He was proud when the Getty was in the middle of the Q map. He's still talking about it. He's still saying we've got to rescue them. But when you sign government documents, or you sign, you go, and not, they're not government documents, but you're, you're doing those online petitions going, like, apparently to the White House or whatever, change.org, or maybe that doesn't exist anymore. But when you're doing those things, you just put yourself on a list. You just put your email on the list. You just you just gave people a way to like put you in the lump category of people that believe in those things. And and sometimes I just feel like some of these guys, some of these guys in this media or that we've been watching are they don't care. They don't give a shit. They're just kind of it's almost like they're letting they're just leading people off a cliff. Yeah, it's real. It's really happening. I'm the one who has the information. And before I go, and I and I and I and I did a video about this, and I and I feel like first of all, like I'm gonna leave here pretty soon. This is somebody doing a parody of Rose. This is a Team Rose operation, which I thought is really funny. And I want to give her this traitors amongst us because, you know, Rose is always putting her makeup on. In tears. When are you went live? I just, I didn't know whether to shit my pants, cry. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he just doesn't belong with MAGA. You know. I just knew they weren't right for each other. Yeah. Did you guys see Ernie Show kicked me out of chat again? Said I was bloodlines. Yeah. Yeah. I know. 
So I just wanted like just give her a little thing. She's doing she's doing like a parody of Rose because that's kind of like her. But look, people are doing parodies about her. Okay, so do I have a point? Not really tonight. But for those of you who have been hanging out, LOL parody is so fucking funny. Oh, do you think so? Yeah, I'm, I, it, it made me laugh that like somebody was like, I mean, you you have to know who she is to like get get the joke basically. But um, but there it is. All right, so and hopefully I could just kind of put this to rest because um, I, do I have it? Is is it ever going to be resolved? Like I don't know, but it but it's kind of interesting. I think just to document what is actually taking place. On the internet, I feel so off tonight. I don't know why. The, like that, like my like my beat is just off for some reason. So I'm just gonna work through it. I hope some of you guys had some fun with it, or have. I mean, Mark, you're 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 sticking with me, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Mark is still here. Okay. Um, so I did a video. I uploaded it and it's titled, hold on. Now, let me go, I'm looking for myself. A YouTuber blackmails another YouTuber. Okay, and oh, you're still here, Jeff. You're just quiet. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just kind of like la 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 la. It's, it's like a, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't have a flow. I, and I was just kind of like, oh, you know. And then that one video didn't come out right, and I was like, oh, it's like my beats off. And I'm like, well, I want to talk about these things, and I just, I didn't want to like say this this show's labeled blank, blank, blank. You know, it's just like, I didn't want to flag any of that. It's like, oh, I, there's just a couple things I want to share, but I didn't have it. And I was like, I was just kind of a loose thing. You are? Okay, you're enjoying it. Thank you. Awesome. I don't know. I'm kind of interested in in, in killer YouTube cults. Yeah, it's, it's definitely... I mean, even the Mark Richards things. You know, the, the whole pen dragon cult thing and how that came about, how that's part of the conspiracy. And like the, it, it, it tinges on this stuff, this kind of true crime cult, people, by, you know, believing conspiracies, the whole King Arthur thing with Project with Camelot. Like it's just. JFK assassination, and then there's, you know, they were called Camelot. And there's just all these, you can just do all these, do all these buttons. Okay, so what I think is weird, all right, about, about the Rose thing is after I started talking about her, Lionel would do videos of me talking about her and then put it on his channel. And then, of course, he would talk about her, you know, criticizing her or not criticizing her. Okay. And then there is Mississippi Talker who befriended me through YouTube and wanted to talk to me about Rose and friend requested me on Facebook. And I had dialogue with her on Facebook and I talked to her on the phone and I shared a lot of thoughts about what I was noticing about Rose in relation to Dolly Vision and, and you know, what was going on with Avery Shannon's podcast and, you know, knowing that she came from the, um, from the Max Spears camp 
and that, you know, watching her talk about crystals and this and that, and, you know, the bloodlines and, you know, our, you know, all this kind of stuff. And then she did that show with her mom and she was talking about these things with her mom. And then the RH negative blood comes into it. She talks a lot about being RH negative and how that's, you know, like doesn't have the rhesus monkey. And apparently people who are RH negative maybe have alien blood and they got special abilities. And then you go into like the Vikings and, you know, like the shamanic this and that. And you know, you don't really have to have RH negative blood to be a Viking because I have Viking DNA and I'm not RH negative. So there's a lot of things that you, you know, people, we, you know, when you talk about like real biology and anthropology, oh yeah, that's right. People who like the colleges are stupid. They don't know what's really going on. But again, it gets back to this sort of like, I'm special or I'm ascending, or I know something more than you do. And I always think that well, that's such a lack of spiritual humility. Okay, I'll get up that high horse. But so as this came about, I found out that Sippy Talker, her channel is mostly, well, she's branded it, you know, she changes, she changes the name. Lyle changes his name a little bit. Everybody might change their channel name a little bit. I, I, I'm not going to change this channel name. <laughs> but, but, but your honor, I was off planet at the time. Inmate Richards. Yes. Cap, uh, Carrie, Carrie Cassidy's captain, Mark Richards. Yeah. He's, he's basically the same as, uh, I'm a Viking and so are my kids and my family and ancestors. So what? Right. Well, you know, the Vikings, the Vikings were known for outer worldly abilities. Apparently that's, that's the myth of it. I mean, they did, there is a, you know, the, the term going berserk, they had the berserk warriors and they did take on the state. Apparently they would go out and they say they were going to be a bear. They fought like a bear. They would, you know, be with the bears for a while, then kill a bear, and then, you know, do like a ritual, and then have the bear on the bear outfit on him. And then when he went to be a warrior, then he was he was he he had this bear energy, you know. And that was um, those were the Vikings. They you they they were they 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 went into the woo realm realm historically. <laughs> right. See, you got it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So there's a mysticism to, to the Vikings. Okay. So when all this stuff was going down and I was talking to M Mississippi talker, there was a, I, I'm going to be repetitive, but there's argument over Johnny Depp, which I think is ridiculous. But it's like all of a sudden I blocked her, you know, and then I was like, I don't need this. I was getting like, you know, whatever. And then Lionel was coming to me on be her behalf to give me links about Johnny Depp that I needed to look at through my Facebook. And they were, you know, it's like he was doing, he was like the, the communicator on her behalf to me. So that that's kind of how I see that going down, you know, right? And I kept wanting to just avoid things. Like a lot of times, like right now I'm talking about it and I can't say that it, you know, I've, I've been able to just ignore all of it. Obviously not. Cause I'm talking about it, but you know, like, you know, I really like, Hey, if she doesn't, if we're not getting along or whatever, or there's an argument or I insulted her cause I don't think I did, but whatever, fine. You know, just let's not talk anymore. Let's just like, let it go. Right. Well, somehow, Lionel, like, I guess wasn't in line or didn't do what he wanted her to do. But she actually, you know, he had told me, too, like, she hacked my my my, U, my YouTube account. She hacked my Gmail, and I lost my account. And then, you know, she told me, like, oh, Lionel did something in the past, but he, you know, he regretted it and blah, 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 blah. But all of a sudden... 
Sippy had videos of him that somehow was maybe incriminating to Lionel. Like as if she had something on him. And she kept these videos on private for a really long time. And then all of a sudden when he wasn't behaving right, she let them back out of her channel and was taunting him about it. And on one of my live streams, I captured Lionel reacting to her of a video that he made that she made to taunt him by showing him saying things or bringing up this topic of where, well, I'll let you listen to it, but I think it was pretty much, you know, blackmail on her part. And, um, and this, and when you go to Lionel's channel, I've gone there and I've, I've tried to find this on his channel and every video that I've found that has this graphic on it, the the um video the the sound's been distorted and you know what i can even show you that later just to prove like what i'm like i'm not making what up what i'm saying but this is basically what what's what's been going on in november 6th on my first channel that was hacked oh, by you. you remember Do it again. Oh, in your apology video, which is also up, you admit no, that I, um, on I don't have to do anything. First, remember when year, it's deleted, it's never gone, baby. With intent. You did your own little ritual, hoo-boo, foo-doo, boo-doo, whatever the hell it is that you thought you was doing, oh, trying to be a warlock sure. against me. And it backfired on you. And you more or less say that you lost everything. I lost everything on YouTube. Because you took it down. Lionel. Here's, here's, here's the truth of the matter. You've lost your marbles. My friend was sharing something. Now you want me to talk about it. son who is of age, who loves blue clothes. And very fat. If I may you took it upon yourself <laughs> to go to your son. You checked out Blue's Clues and you found innocently. You could Clues have told me sexually attractive and you admitted to it. And Blue's Clues him. is just LGBT children. And he excited Let me tell you something that you never bothered to check out anything about him, his age or nothing, but you knew that he was what? What did you say? He looked underage, but he had a beard, a moustache. Come on. You didn't use the word. In Tennessee, you can get married when you're 16. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That's a man. He was mentally challenged in some kind of way, didn't he? Of course I did. I was just wondering why Brandon Husky was so upset with this child because he's being used by adults like you trying to trap pedos of which i'm not so i wasn't trapped but i was entrapped by you then you want to say i was actually high when i told her i was sorry i didn't really mean it and i was coming down you mean it but now you have doubled back uh -oh. I'm not doubling back. You, you got more evil in you now than you had back. You have brought, you've it's opened the can of worms, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you know what happens this time, don't you, Lionel? What? You're the professor. Mm hmm. You know what the Bible says. Roses you know are red. Other books and you are dead. The Bible says. But more than that, Lionel. You know what your heart's telling you, and you know what's happening right up here. Touch me. Don't you? Touch me. This is the last video you're going to be getting from me, Lionel. What? No more, no more content from you. And I pray for grace. You know, one would only hope it was your last video, Sippy. That I, I just want to say that. And you know what? On your video, to me, I feel like you were trying to curse my voice. You're trying to curse my speech. You're trying to curse my ability to talk. 
That's that's evil. All right. That's just pure evil. You have malintent against me, and you're not too. You're not. You're mal. You're 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 basically using emotional blackmail on Lionel. You need to get a grip on yourself, Sippy. Silly child. Because you're about to fall down and you're going to fall hard. You thought how you lost you? everything in the last Yeah, time? how dare you? You know who's going to fall down? Maybe it's going to be you, Sippy. Maybe it's you. Huh? How dare you? It's nothing compared to what you have brought up on yourself this time. Susan. It's like I tell everybody, what? Summer Wells ain't for sale. Uh, are you not selling her? You're not oh, selling her gosh. today. Nobody's for sale, Lionel. Nobody. But your ass is. Especially. Sold. Sold. Anybody under age to the and very, very, of very, death. very much, especially. The mentally challenged. I swore an oath of the Nightingale, and I mean it. I swore another oath to serve and protect, and I mean it too, and I didn't mean just the state. Oh, let me call the sheriff. But see, I took an oath too let before me call I even came sheriff. into this incarnation. <laughs> I know who I am. I got family in Vegas. I can call. Do you know who you are? Brown. Swore an oath for what? What, what, what? What did you swear an oath for, Sippy? Oh. Do you? I'm trying to find that. He asked. Those. One of those hosting in like the spirit. I'm gonna stop it there, but you know, she's talking about theost. That is that is part of her theost is a word that she uses. I think it's maybe even made up. Um, she she goes the one five three meaning like she she's like we're the one five three theost and and that that's her her deal you know she she talks about being rh negative theost one five three the one five three she says that Jesus cast out his net for the fish and brought in one five three fish one hundred fifty three fish but those aren't fish those are people like her and they're the ones who are the one five three that have the special power. So again, Sippy herself is is no different than Sandra DeRoy, you know, saying, you know, that she about the archons. And, you know, if you don't believe it, then you're not, you know, a human being. And I've got this and here's my book. Let me sell it to you. Like, I think that like that, not, like, again, I'm, I'm drawing conclusions on how these people serve up the same stuff. Now, what I find compelling about this and the reason why I'm showing it. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm talking about it again tonight on this particular live stream is because of the fact that they're connected to Deborah Director, who is Rose. I wouldn't know them at all if I had never looked back into Rose and what she was doing. And I've like implicated that that is Team Rose. They are Team Rose. Another thing, now this was in June. This happened in June. That recording happened in June. But when you go, and I'm going to take you to their YouTube channels, you can go to Sippy right now and the and the and the video that she's done specifically for me on her channel. I haven't, I didn't listen to it, but I did go in and look at the comments that people were making. And you can see now. Here it is. Oh, she made an, I, 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 she made another one 18 hours ago answering to at Terry Joyce and her trolls. You know what? It's like, I don't have anybody. Okay. I'm, I'm going to show you this so you can see it. Who's trolling you? Who's trolling her? The thing of it is, is that there were people who were trolling my first when I, I did a video about Rose, like, I don't know, 10 days ago, my first one that I did coming back about the, you know, Benny Keese threatens to sue, you know, uh, Ro, you know, Team Rose. 
there were people on behalf of Sippy in my chat. So I said, Sippy, why is Sippy, why is why are people talking about Sippy in my chat during this video? When I felt that I had just cut these people out of my life, like I'm not wasting, but they showed up again. Their peeps showed up again. So she has, you know, uh, Terry Joyce and her trolls. What trolls? Like people, what they're watching your videos and they're making comments on it because they, they're not buying it. Does that make people a troll? I don't know what she's talking about, but answering to Terry Joyce and her trolls. Okay. Can you see what I'm showing you? Okay. Yeah. So this one here, five days ago, this is the one I want to click on to. Okay. Um, which basically is probably her doing me showing her. There he is. This is well done with your new subscribers. So after that video, I just showed you, right, where she's got something on him. She's accusing him of being a pedo. They're now buddies again, talking. Now, now tell me how that makes sense to you guys. Doesn't make sense to me. If somebody had, had, had hacked my YouTube channel, let me just put my face in here for a sec. Well, I don't have to. If somebody had hacked my YouTube channel and taken it away from me and then took videos and held it on private and then when I got in line, they sort of exposed those videos calling me a, a pedophile and that I was like pursuing underage kids in the, in the, in the, in Blue's Clues, I would not be talking to this woman again. But these guys are still, still buddies. Look at this. Look. Well done with your new subscribers. As an internet researcher, this person was in my chat that night that I blocked. This is one of their trolls, I think, that came in. I can't even with her. A journalist takes in items. So this person was trolling my chat that night. I could probably pull it up again. I think MJ has wrecked her critical thinking. Okay, so she's they're they're meaning marijuana. So so they're labeled me in as as a pothead and I have no critical thinking skills. So this person like is is a, is a freaking they trolled my channel on her behalf that night. There they are. Here's nine replies. I, I have an idea of what you're talking about. I have a good bit about Rose, and I know that she and Joyce went into the same cult for a long time. Okay, so I was in a cult with Rose. This is total fabrication bullshit. Terry wants to act as if she's not a part of any of that now, but I beg to differ. Either way, we are all responsible for allegations against each other, especially when it attacks. I'm not a part of, of, of anything with Rose. Shell R, you're... See... Look at this. These people almost like their their titles almost look like Hoaxed. Who's this guy? Who's this about? How long has this person been had had a channel? Wait a second. Let me see. Oh, I've got to, um, let me go back. Bogarty Schmoo. Well, if that isn't a pot reference, I don't know what is. Hold, hold on. Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm lost into something that. Oh, yeah, you are. Hey, YouTube. -y. I'm going to make this as short as I can. Okay, so I'm recognizing these people that were in the, my chat before. Yes, I noticed she was learning how to see a YT creator now, but one can present that playlist and shorts, which you don't do. This is all too funny. We can all talk whatever we want. Yes, she has watched everything. Waka, waka, waka. No, I haven't. 
I, but I have looked at what they put, they, they put up. Does she think YouTube is pronounced as YouTube? -y? This is somebody. Where are my trolls, Sippy? I also don't hack. Some people will say anything just to hear themselves talk. If you don't know me, watch a few vids. Think for yourself. Terry Joyce don't know me at all. And she didn't know how hardly anything of her accusations. But I did know her. I I I I could have I I could I could call her up right now. I have her freaking phone number. Sippy, that's a total lie. See, that's the stuff that, like, it's total denial. Like, did I not just play? Let's do it again. This is, this is, this is sippy. This, like, like what I just played for you is what they're telling that what they're saying, what she's saying, I made up. I'm sorry. Then, 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 what was that whole conversation of Lionel over over that video? If that wasn't, if if that's not the truth, like I like you, like I'm just making shit up. No, I'll tell you something. Yes, I am going to school to get a degree in digital journalism. That's why when I say something on my channel, I can point to something and say, you know. Here's a video of, of, of the possibility or the fact, I say it's a fact, that Sippy was doing exactly what I said she was doing. And I wouldn't even be having this conversation right now or showing her channel at all. She made those videos after her peeps were in my video when I did the first video about Rose again, after months, I brought Rose back onto the table to talk about because Benny Keys was threatening to sue her for the for her saying that he was responsible for trying to kill her. And she's even blamed him as being part of like Summerwell's murder with no evidence. <coughs> I'm doing that show and that and those people, those, those, those people on her shell are I blocked that person that night during my live stream if you want to you can go back and look at that video and verify what I'm saying and then she has the audacity to tell people that I I don't even know her lady I know you Mississippi talker I saw what you did, and Lionel, the fact that you're over there going, way to go on your new subscribers. Way to go, what, because you're talking about me? I brought you people? What does it say about you? Because you don't bring me people, Sippy. You're not a draw for me to talk about you. I, I'm talking about you. Only in context of how you're involved with all these other people. I'm talking about you because you're acting like somebody who's covert. That you manipulate people on YouTube. That you blackmail them. That you have something on him. Is Lionel guilty for doing what he did? Oh, but now you have it on private. You guys are all buddies now. Talking about me because you were always against me, it looks like to me, because of what I'm saying about Deborah Director and Rose and what she's been doing on the internet. The havoc that she's created about missing children. Why is there a circus about that? Why is there a distraction about that? What is your involvement in it? You have nothing better to do? You're just bored with your life? You just want to throw money to like people like Ernie Shell and, and Jimmy Jams and Dolly Vision? That's your big project now? And then I played you what happened earlier tonight, how she's talking about a 12-year-old and like, you know, like it's perfectly normal for a man to marry a 12-year-old. The king did it back then because it's bloodline or whatever it is. You saw what she was saying. 
Are you guys all? I, 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 I'm not okay with this. I think it's a shit show. And, and this is how I feel about it. If I want to sit on my channel and talk about it and talk about you and about what you're doing and you want to, you know, all you can do is say, you don't know me now. Oh, sippy. What a liar you are. I could say your real name right now and I have it in my phone, in my Rolodex, on my phone, in my contacts. I could take your my Facebook posts of our conversation and our argument about Johnny Depp and take your name and cross it out, but it would be you, sweetie. Don't you sit there and, and tell people on your channel that you fucking don't know me. You know me. And you pursued me off of YouTube. You found me on Facebook, not the other way around. That pisses me off. It pisses me off to read you and read, read that you said you don't know me. Oh, she's this, she's that. I don't, she's, she's smoking the marijuana. She's smoking the marijuana. What is that? What is that? Because Shelly R. knows that in the past I had a show called Hollywood Hemptress Hour. And then when I was on Revolution Radio, I was the cannabis person. And you're, you know me. That person knows enough about me to make that kind of erroneous. I think she's messed her head up because she's smoking the MJ. Go fuck off, lady. Shelly R. Shell R. I don't even know if you're a lady. Maybe you're Deborah Director with a fake profile. Show, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't get to call me a pothead to cover up your shit. You don't call me a pothead to cover up your stink. MG is the main link to nowhere, Joe Friday. Oh, really? <laughs> is it unhinged? It is what I'm doing unhinged. Because to me, I'm, I'm fucking sick of it. Like, how long do I have to, I mean, like, I, it, like, like, it's really not about me. Like, like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to go and tutor and I'm going to have a, you know, I, I have a life. Like, this really isn't my life. Like, I'm fine in it, basically, in a sense. But I'm pointing out what they're doing. You're the liars, man. And now you're breaking bread together because you were always breaking bread because you guys are the trolls. You're the trolls. You're the ones who are not investigating or reporting. You are the fake YouTube channels. You are the circus. You are the circus, Sippy. Deborah. You're the circus. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Look, I'm not doing like, I mean, I'm calling this the fun show. I'm not doing like tonight's like a hodgepodge. I'm not being serious and blah, blah, blah. I am showing you what I think. I'm showing you. I do have receipts. I have receipts, Sippy. Sippy, what do you got to say about that piece of video? Okay, let me show you something else too that I find interesting. One more thing. Two more things.
I'm trying to go back to um, when. Okay. Hmm. Wait a second. I was just looking at it. Did it disappear? A little bit earlier. My God, he might have put it on private. Are these guys watching me in real time? Because... There was a video up when I first started, like when I found that footage of him, this is one month ago, so you figure, okay, let me show you. It's got Ernie Shell on here. He's he's talking about the same thing. Hold on. Oh, Midnight Writer, you're saying ask me if I, I share my name with the great writer James Joyce. I'd like to think so, um, but actually, no, I do not. Um, I do not. Joyce is my mother's first name, and. Um, for a stage name, I turned around and made it my last name. Um, it's about 11.30 at night here. So, um, I'm trying to like, um, so it's not too late. I'm, I'm on the West Coast. It's in California. So, um, Okay, so here's four months ago. I'm just going to slide my hand here because I think it goes faster. When was June? See, June, July, August, September, October, like five months ago. So let's go back five months. Still not. Whoops. Darn it. I didn't want to do that. Well, see, that's the problem when I try to look for something. going to act up. Anyway, the footage that I showed you had a, um, I'm going to keep looking a little bit. Four months ago. Okay, five months ago. It's gone. Wow, he took it down. I think so. That is crazy. Six months. Oh, he took it down. Just double checking one more time. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Because it was, it like literally, um, I had it in my save list to maybe show and compare. 
the videos and how he had the the how on his channel all that dialogue was muted and distorted and yet it was the same video and now it's gone and so my my thought is is that um i said earlier in this video i was going to try to find it and now it's not there so the video that i just played I'm going to show you the thumbnail for it. Oh, you're 230. Boy, you're hardcore, Mark. I really appreciate you staying here this long. 11 days to Halloween. This is true. Hacked your save list as well. No, they didn't hack my save list. It, they didn't hack anything. He just he just took the video. He he, he might have put the video on private. The video that I mirrored, or the video that I had that footage I showed earlier, where you see the American flag and she's like, you know, and he's talking about her like hacking him and the blackmail and all that kind of stuff. That's in my video. That's gone now, completely off of his channel. So I was going to show you how the 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 words were distorted. So I feel like the reason why I wanted to show you because I feel like they're they were covering it up. Like he didn't want to take the video down, but it had a, a distortion on it. So you can hear him ranting and raving at, 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 at the video. And then now I have the actual video of it. Some people just came in like the last couple of minutes. So in, in case you want to know what I'm talking about or what I was ranting and raving about, about like, you know, because I said, okay, first of all, let's, let's go back. Okay. One more time. Let's go back and explain it again. Terry, tell us how this break this down for us. All right. I said that when I did a video about Rose recently, in the title of the video is, is was called Benny Keys Threatens to Sue Team Rose. It's about time. And the the video, I hadn't done a video about Team Rose in a while. I covered her. Back in February, about between February and June. My kitty cat's making noise. He's here. here he comes. I gotta go soon because it, it's his howling time now. Okay, so I I made I made that in June, and then I left this topic for a while. And it wasn't until I saw like an influx of people sharing those videos all of a sudden. And I saw like the numbers go up on those videos. I'm like, what's going on here? And then I had people leaving messages and they were telling me new stuff that she was doing. And um, for example, um, you know, she was abusive to a 12 year old. And I, I, I aired that a few times you know, to listen on these channels. Like, this is what Rose is up to now. And now she has people saying that they're going to threaten to sue her. And when I did that, all of a sudden, Sippy Talker came, people who were part of Sippy Talker, right when I started the broadcast, that Shell R profile was right in there. And they were talking about Shadowbox. They said something about Shadowbox in the chat which is kind of off left field. Like they brought in Shadowbox, they brought in Fiona Barnett, they brought in old stuff that had to do with 17th letter of the alphabet and Shadowbox. Because if you go to the Daily Beast, there's an article about Ed Butowski, and I even talked about it. Made me, I go, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Ed Butowski, who was the private investigator that was working with Seth Rich that uh, started the whole, pretty much was perpetuating the conspiracy. The um, Seth Rich's family was angry at him for doing that. Fox News jumped onto it, all this kind of stuff, right? And there was all this controversy. Well, that same man started a company called Shadowbox, and he brought in Defango and Thomas Schoenenberger. Now, that person was in my chat when I was talking about Rose, a few weeks ago, 
And the shell R, I showed you the shell R that, that was leaving the message on Sippy Talker stuff. They were in my chat room. So they're associated to Sippy Talker. So what I'm saying is they're like a network. All right. The network is like, you know, making comments on, on her stuff. And they said some things. They said, oh, well, Sippy Talker has a video. Like Rose and Benny Keys are friends and Sippy Talker has a video. And I go, show me the video. Put the video in the chat. If that's the truth, then put the video in the chat. Let's see it. Because I, I, I've never seen like Sippy do any decent conversation about Rose. And most of the things that she does say about Rose are kind of wacky to me. That's my opinion. All right. And I'm not, I'm not saying that because, you know, I, you know, I, now I don't like the lady. I really think that like there were times where, you know, Sippy Talker would, would talk to me on Facebook in the chat on Facebook. You know, you know me, Sippy. If you watch this, you know, you know me and you know, you had conversations with me on, on, on Facebook. So don't push me. Don't push me to show it because I have it. I have those receipts. I have proof that you pursued me on other places on social media and you come from Rose. You come from Rose's camp. So, so, so Sippy, Shell R was in my chat. This other profile, I can't remember the name right now. I blo blocked both of them right one after each other. Watch the video. If you want to take the time to watch that video that I did, um, you know, with that title, you can you 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 can verify that what I'm saying is true. And then they said, "Oh, are you triggered?" I'm like, "Yeah, I am triggered. I'm triggered because I and I mentioned it. She, I watch. I know she blackmailed somebody, and that that person is Lionel Royale, and that she had something on him. She was doing his bidding. She popped those videos out." A while ago, earlier this week, I tried to look for those videos on his channel. They were muted. They were like distorted. And I found my own copy of it in my own, on my own SD card. And I read, I brought it back out again to prove what I was saying. Oh, hi, Scarlet Ibis. Okay, yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of doing a free-for-all tonight. It's loose. It's not tight. This is not a tight show. It's not something I'm going to look back and go, oh, wow, this is really good. Like, I, I that's a good show. I'm, I'm just here talking about stuff. So, welcome. Lots of Jeffrey Dahmer docuseries lately. I suppose people have a morbid fascination with cannibal serial killing necrophiliacs. Surely a very rare, rare pathology. People do have a, a fascination about it. I will say this. And, and you know, if you look at a lot of um, movies or series, you know, they had like the, what was it? The, that, the, um, wasn't, it wasn't the Silicon Valley diet. It was the, uh, you know, it was like, it was called something diet with, um, Drew Barrymore. Remember that series that was on Netflix Netflix for a while where she was a cannibal, you know? That ha was happening. <laughs> so, um yeah, we we have talked about Jeffrey Dahmer. Um I've been wanting to do like I was I'm probably going to do a podcast on my anchor about the series and stuff. I was just kind of trying it out tonight a little bit. Oh, look, I can even like show myself here. Huh? I wonder if I can play that. I, I wonder if I could play that. I keep wanting to play that one video, but I'm probably not going to be able to still. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm going to show, like, since you guys came in a little bit late, I'm going to show you a little bit of the video that I was just talking about 
where she where what verifying what I said was true that night because because they're in that chat they're just sitting there talking there like acting like I made it up or something so here we go again here's some more of it it kind of starts back oh all the way over here I can even Here. Here's 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 even more of it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna give you like more than I showed just a few minutes ago. You cannot find this anymore, but this is this is proof that I'm talk I'm not lying about what I'm talking about. And watching you and you look into your camera like that. Are they whispering to you yet in your ears? Are they in your dream yet? Is there anything weird going on yet? Do you want to get caught? Like noises you can't explain? Thieves ultimately want to be caught. Do you need another hailstorm? What do you need, Lionel? You know the story of Nicodemus, right? Remind us. Go mad. He went crazy no, I think you got wrong. lost his mind how long was it five years six years seven years what was it sure you know professor and when he came to himself when he came back to himself what did he do lionel you need to get your mind on something other than what you are eating right now now, you just made this video. You don't have to cover it up. Why? Are you listening to yourself? You're so guilty that you're spinning so many lies that you are admitting your guilt over and over. Your, your make you got your maids mixed up, girl. What do you do? You're making my job so easy. Did you watch the videos that I left up that were on private, but now they're just public for the whole world wide web to see? No. Right there, she admits it. Right, like, did you not? Okay, so she's what I'm saying. Like right there, I'm saying she had she had videos on private. She's basically admitting that that's what she did. I, I'm not interested. I just saw this in my. Okay. You fine, exposed whatever. yourself. Okay. Whatever. Who cares? Only you. Others can tell by listening to you admit. You got a little problem when it comes to people a little bit younger than you, darling. Really? Really now? Let's listen to you ramble for a minute. Just let everybody listen to what you're saying. Because, I mean, you're an openly gay man. You know that I've always supported you in that. I have no problem with gay people, trans people, or none of that. So stop trying to make it sound like a dude, because you know I don't. I don't. But just like you're about to say here, a grown man knows better than to walk into a 16-year-old female's room. I say well, don't you think that a, a grown man, the gay man, ought to know that it's better to go into a 16-year-old male room? You say it's natural to look at the body? Oh, Lionel. Oh, you're stupid. You're trying to wiggle your way out, but you can't. You know why? Because the other video is already public. And who cares on about it? And your apology due to that video coming back later and admitting CB was right. I don't care. I don't give a flying fan bag. Because you know I'm right. And I'm not the only one right. But the mother of the one you're talking about that you decided to go check out the channel of that led you to who? Blue's Clues? Ah, uh, man. Hey, I couldn't remember it. Why in the world would you? Be talking to anybody 
that's obsessed with Blue's Clues. You want to bring it up? A kid show. You want to bring it up? Anyway, mm -hmm. that's enough. That one question right there is enough, Lionel. Yeah. And let's just listen to you I keep raving because uh, you are going ah. cuckoo up here mm -hmm. and it's just going to get worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Show mm -hmm. this. Listen. You know, we could be saying that we're going into somebody else's closet. When we're looking at somebody else's YouTube, that's why people have green screens. You're going deep into their lives. And you're finding flaws with everything. My exact point of this video. <laughs> But history has it that the one that's beating the one that seems, you know, males, male guys, guys, you know, you know what I'm talking about, eh? Generally like female singers, female voices, female singers who sing songs. It's got nothing to do with being gay. Or straight females, women, you know what I mean by that? Not like sure male anymore. singers, <laughs> more. Really? When you're a guy, you don't feel strange if you go into a guy's room. But if you're a guy and you're going into a underage girls room you certainly know you're doing the wrong thing if you're not that age okay but all right go ahead dude whatever you got to tell yourself but to say that it's pedophile or gay is Substandard mentality. Like you are, you lost the bullion. It's a natural response for men to look at men and for women to look at women. But not for men to look at underage people. We used to go to the carnival back in the day. Carnivorous. Silly Sippy. Carnival. Carnal mind. Carn yeah, he's from South Africa. Yes. No. Post what? Just because you push back your carnal ways. You better be pulling back on yours. You don't go after other age people. I'm but out what? on your ass if you do, and you know it. But look at Johnny J. Yeah, look at him. He embraced his carnal ways. So just think twice. So I mean, so you're so again, Johnny Depp. Okay, there. See there because because our argument was about Johnny Depp. All right, I'm gonna skip a little bit more here. Hold on. Um, I don't want to hear myself talk about the Johnny here. To continue your okay, yeah, like yeah. See, I'm I've been pissed off about this for a while. About this for a while, you can tell. Oh, careful, listening to this guy, man. Sorry. Father, let me say this. Uh, Let's go back. Please like, share, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the little bell for notifications and comment. Mm this in retaliation somebody Zippy, you didn't have a problem with him when he came to my facebook page to continue your argument after i blocked you now did you mississippi and that pisses me off he's been openly gay and bullied for being it you might just be gay me and you yeah. hate you the other six. Please like, share, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the little bell for notifications and comment.
That's just. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna warn all you. Don't careful listening to this guy now. Before Sorry. Any further, let me say this. Uh, I'm glad. I'm hooray for Johnny Depp. Thank you so much. Hooray for Johnny Depp. That's what I got to say about that. And I hope that this case is used to. It's not uh, a hooray for bring, Johnny Depp. You missed the point. It's disgusting. Uh, about female upon male physical abuse. Because she needs to be charged for that crap. That's what I'm going to say about that. Now, let's look at this one right here. You see, you just keep on and on to where I just keep having to make all your videos public, Lion. This one's already up you to where down. this man. Make sure he's not sub to your kids. Oh, this was the video that took you That's took me down with. Language alert. This is when you, you see, called me a pedophile. In yeah. this video right here. By this saying, video doesn't exist anymore. Channel. You, will be linking in the you took it down video off my I'm old channel. A link this, is this is video. your crime. So you can just click on it and go right to it. And this is you talking. This is your crime. Back in November 6th. On my first channel. That was hacked All by you. Started. You remember? Do it again. Oh, in your it. apology video, which is also a. Do you, do you hear what she's saying? Like, if you hear her, she's going, Oh, this is your your video on November, you know, 26, 2020. She's saying, You took you took it down. You you took it away from me. You 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 hear like this is exactly what I'm saying in the title of the video. YouTubers are blackmailed how to hack other YouTubers. She made it so he lost his channel. She took his videos, uploaded them to her account, kept them on private. They they did this whole buddy buddy thing. They were working together, you know, like you would watch their videos to back and forth. When when they were talking to me, they were all part of like apparently talking about Rose and exposing her. But, you know, just recently, Rose did a video saying Lionel says that I'm going to be okay. So she's in converse, friendly conversation with him. And I don't know what the relationship between Rose and Sippy are at the moment. But you can see where they're in conflict here, right? Like she has something on him. And all of a sudden, she decided to bring them out and, and, and put them off private and then expose him for being this horrible pedophile. And now it's all gone, all wrapped up. Videos are off the channel. Nothing's happening. Um, he's back to doing his videos. He took this, this particular version of this channel down that he had up there recently. It's not there anymore. And, you know, I just showed you how uh, on, on Sippy, on the video where she's lying about me, basically, I, that I'm still not watching. Um, she He's leaving a comment as of like four days ago. He's leaving a comment on her channel about how she has all of a sudden more sub subscribers on her channel. Here, let me find it again. Let's go to it. Let's go to the chat, the comments. There he is. There, I'm, I'm going to show you. Four days ago, they're buddies now, and the videos that were about him are off the channel. But well done with your new subscribers. That's him right there. Let's click onto the site. To mythology explained. There he is. In today's video, we're going to discuss Lilith, the queen of hell, mother okay. of demons, angel. Done. I, 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 I don't know what it, what else I have to do to prove that, 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 that I'm not lying on my channel and that people from her group were in my chat. To me, this is just all a big show. You're trolling me, basically. Like, no, I'm not like you guys. I'm not in your club. You're not my friends. 
and you're together talking shit about me after I just recently did another video about Rose. So tell me that that's not, that that's not something at least interesting to say out loud, to question, to go, all right, what is this? Like, ultimately, I'm going to be fine with what's happened. I'm not like, oh, you know, it's irritating to me. I'm irritated when I talk about it right now. I'm, I'm dramatic when I talk about it right now. I have emotion about it when I talk about it right now. But I'm really talking about it because I want to show you guys their behavior. It's their behavior that I find to be interesting. Why the why bother? What is your purpose to obstruct other people that are questioning people like Rose, questioning media like them, going? What is the circus around these people? And then I'm going to end with Avery Shannon on murder on, on her, on her show. And you know what? I got to give my kitty some attention here. It's, um, I thought I had it pulled up. River. Put mm -hmm. records. Hmm. Hold. Let me. Let me. Um. Look her up really quick. They've been um there's a missing there's a missing little boy and the little boy ended up being killed recently and um, a bunch of the people that do these type do true crime um, actually went out like journal journalists covering it and one of the one of the people that did it Is it gone too? Hold on. Documents. Um, one day ago, two days ago. Okay, here it is. Yeah. Let me grab this. This is Dolly Vision. Dolly Vision gets into an argument with one of the neighbors of that lived next door to the to the victim. <laughs> Midnight Rider. Okay. This this is this is the circus that's taking this this is I find this to be like inappropriate. All right. This is this is Jimmy Jams from Dolly Vision. And this is the guy, one of the guys that Deborah Director supports. Such a fine line when you're covering true crime and staying factual and reporting facts that could be helpful to the community and those watching or doing things like what you're about to see in this video. It, it is so mind boggling to me that Dolly Vision is right there on site, but yet he missed Leilani's court hearing this morning. There she is coming out from court. I just kind of looped it so you guys could see. He totally and completely missed that. 
he says that people who <clears throat> report from home are lazy. But look, October 12th, which was last Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., the police went into the house and removed the children right in front of Dolly and Bullhorn Betty. And guess what? They missed it. I reported on it. I reported on it last Wednesday. On Friday, I reported that the dogs had hit on Quentin's scent in the landfill. Here's a news article to corroborate that. At the same time, Dolly Vision, who is again on site with Bullhorn Betty, had no idea of this. He was online reporting that they had Quentin's body and that they were doing I'd be out an searching, autopsy. not bitching. Here's what we have left. I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm here. Now. I'm here. You need some help. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I see you didn't hit me with that French fry. I see you didn't hit me with that French fry. You came up to me. me with you suck your butt. All this embarrassing, ass I mean, you over here making threats like you want to do some hot shit. Do something. Now, as of today, again, okay, so with I'm Dolly Vision and Bullhorn Betty. On okay, so that basically what that is. And and Dolly Vision, he, he's now charging people to watch the actual footage of that. Because he has footage of the whole interlude with him and the neighbor. He is arguing with the neighbors of the of the people who where where the crime scenes taking place at. So as a YouTube researcher, or I don't know if you want to call him a journalist or a true crime podcaster or whatever, the the YouTube people are going and they're going to these like missing children or these cases or these true crime cases. They're actually going to the locations to get information to tell their viewers about what's going on on YouTube. It's basically citizen journalism, but what he's doing, he argued with the neighbor, he used profanity. They disrupted the, the community that they were trying to cover. That's, that's, not, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Like if in school right now, in college, when I'm studying journalism, right? You, there's a code of ethics that you do not want to harm other people really by covering a story. For example, if there like we have we have something ha that happened on campus, I'm actually working on a story right now where we had a sexual predator on our campus. And you know, unless the victim comes forward and says, you know, I want to give you an interview, or if you try to get an interview with them, you'd have to be very, very careful of even approaching them because they might be traumatized or whatever. Or if you are like, you know, of course, like journalists have a bad rap of asking questions or being in people's faces on this and that and that, and a little bit of that's part of the job. But you're really supposed to have a, a certain ethics about it. You especially it's inappropriate for you to go and like bother the neighbors or get into an altercation with the neighbors because that you know you've done something or you're on their property and they don't want you on your their property or whatever um so for him to like be out there as dolly vision and doing that and then i i could tell like like he had this footage uh, i would have loved to like have shown you the whole thing rather than just hearing a little like the background because you know it's like well okay it's it's hard to tell you have another YouTuber framing the incident, right? So you'd want to see the whole footage, but, and you're still, and I, and I'm still, and I, I can't really show it to you. So you can keep whatever opinion you want, but in the whole video, he shows it. And it's like, and he says something in the video, if I can remember, right. He says something like, well, I've got 10 million viewers, you know, so blank, 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 and you know, pretty much kiss my ass because I have 10 million viewers and I'm I'm the big shit on YouTube selling my Dolly Vision t-shirts. Well, I have people like Rose giving me money and my, you know, so she can stay in my chat and create shit in my chat, and I can make a bad example of what YouTube true crime is all about. So what is that? Is that are, are these are these people? And before I close, I'm just going to leave it up to you guys to think about it. Are these people just idiots? Like, are they just they have nothing better to do? They're sh they're unprofessional. 
it's it's the sign of our time it's it, it's it's i've got a youtube channel and i can go disrupt anybody's life i want to you know by being some sort of like you know going in people's faces or whatever or is this a network of people that maybe are on youtube just to be the circus just to cause the drama just to maybe gang stalk somebody. And when I say gang stalk, I mean, that's an overused word, but gang up on my channel and be in my chat room and have people from your team. The fact that there were people mentioning Sippy Talker's name in my video about Rose is not a good sign, I don't think. Like, who's Sippy Talker? Like, who's, you know, like, I've shown you her channel before. She keeps adding videos. She keeps taking away videos. I, you know, I think like a few days ago, she had 11 videos up, maybe two of me. Now there's like three of me. You know, those will be gone too. You know, videos about me that she makes are gone. They leave. Like I've shown, I in there was a, in, a video that I showed where there were like, old footage. You can see me looking at her channel where she's like every other one's about me. Like, and they're not there anymore. And I pointed out, if you only have 11 videos up, but you've got over a thousand friends, you know, people who subscribe, there's no way you can build any type of subscriber base over a thousand with just 11 videos. Like you've got to keep doing content and content and content and content until you break that thousand dollar, that thousand spot place. Or you had something that made you go viral. But if you look at somebody's, you know, channel and they have 11 videos up and they're, you know, not hardly any of them are past a thousand views, there's no way they would have a thousand people unless they took over somebody else's channel or, you know, or, or they had videos up before that got a lot of views, but you have them on private now because you're playing games. And, and I, you know, I know I need to go. I know I, you know, this is getting late. It's a late show. I don't like to do over two and a half hours. I don't like to go this late. I was thinking I was only going to go an hour, but here I am still talking about this. I guess because it matters to me. It matters to me that there's this kind of manipulation and deception going on behind the scenes behind missing children that are open cases that aren't solved. And it, and it is worth talking about. It is worth documenting it happening on YouTube. That's basically all I'm doing here. Like, I don't, you know what? Sippy can say whatever she wants about me. Because I know, like, maybe this isn't the best show and I wasn't as organized as I would want it to be. Or I'm just shooting the shit right now. But I don't just shoot the shit to make up shit for whatever reason. Like, I'm not, I'm not in their chat rooms. I'm not, I didn't even, I've never even, I'm not even commenting on those videos. I'm, I'm making commentary on those videos on my own channel, but I'm not engaging in the conversation. I am way too busy to be trolling other people's chat rooms or cause arguments with them. I am a full-time student and I have a job and I've also got other goals going on and responsibilities that why would I do that unless I was crazy, right? Had nothing better to do. Or I'm a network of people that, I don't know, maybe I'm even hired to do something like this. Or maybe I'm part of a psychological warfare. Or maybe this is a big game. And this is information. Or this is drama. Or this is a way to get censored even more online that I'm a provocateur to cause more of a censorship shutdown. I don't know. I mean, I could go here with a bunch of theories, but it looks connected. It looks dishonest. When you catch two people who are now buddy-buddy, and then one of them had something on somebody, decides to reveal it all of a sudden, 
and it has a big drama, but now they're all buddy, buddy, and they're together just because I pointed it out that this happened in the past, that I'm the liar, that I'm the person that's got issues or I'm a liar or whatever. You're buddy, buddy now. Like I wasn't even, Lionel, it's shocking to me. It says a lot about you, in my opinion that you think that you can be buddy buddy with somebody that was trying to harm you at their whim and that actually took a channel away from you. Why aren't you calling the police on her? Why aren't you reporting Sippy for cyber crimes if that's the case? Because you both are up to something is what I think. That you're the ones who aren't on the level. And it's kind of a disturbing to me, really, to be honest with you. That you would be that dishonest and covert. And you're just right behind Miss Rose, who also is creating a bunch of drama and saying disinformation and accusing people of, you know what, Rose? If Benny Keys is guilty of killing Summer Wells, why aren't you calling the police on that? Why aren't you calling the local authorities? Why are you just talking shit on your live streams? That's what I want to know. If these people are really, like, if you're really seriously investigating and you know who's guilty and you have all the facts, then do something about it that would be what somebody who was like law enforcement or somebody had a tip off to the police do it don't just sit behind your you know your video camera and make some sort of entertainment out of this while you give money to phony pedo hunters so that they can disrupt people's neighbors of a real investigation way to go folks oh i didn't mean to do the okay sign Way to go, right? That is a disgrace of what, I don't wanna be part of your community or this community or say that I'm, I'm in true crime and this is how we act. Or I've got my youth, I, I believe that, you know, blank, blank, blank is happening, but we're, we're just irrational like that. And when I find out that somebody's an actress on top of it, come on now. Are you acting? Is Ernie Shell an actor? I say what I'm saying. <laughs> Well, if you've never been ambushed by, you know, triangulation by weirdo trolls, um, you're, you know, when it does happen to you, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's just why. Anyway, I should go. Um, I wish I, I, I wish, I wish I could get that one piece of footage to play again. Hold on. Let me see be great to leave on this, but I might not be able to do it. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't want to do it. Sad. Okay. Well, I found a really cool song. Oh, I'm probably not going to be able to find it. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's weird. Mm. Thinking. Okay, music. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, I'll go out with some Halloween music. weird, huh? No, I want something better than that. like runway. Another shameless plug before I take off tonight. Vote for me in the Fab Over 40 competition. It ends tomorrow. And if I win, I'll get $40,000, um, a uh, photo shoot in New Beauty Magazine, and also um, an article and a spa, but I can use the $40,000 to go to college. And my whole thing is, is that I went back to, I went back to college at the age of 59 to get a degree in digital journalism. And I'm really into it. And I'm into getting the degree. And then I got a part-time job uh, touring biology, anthropology. So, um, so that's going on. And then I just, you know, I was on Facebook and I, you know, the new beauty magazine and I, and I'm like, okay, so I sent my picture in I took a picture on campus. Um, there was a display case behind me and I took a picture and I got, I got in the, I got in the competition and, and you know, it's a voting thing. You can vote like once, you know, you can vote like once, once a day for free. And then if you want to do a paid vote, which you don't have to, but it's like $10, $25 or whatever. Um, the money goes through to, for breast cancer research and early detection. So it's for a good reason. And when I was in college, last in the fall, I took a social media class. And, uh, you know, I've been doing a podcast, but not my rabbit hole. Um, I'm also on Spotify and Anchor and Podbean. And you can listen to me to Apple Podcasts. So I have certain versions of the show over there. And I saw in like Sippy's discussion that like, oh, she's a comedian and she's just being funny. And, you know, this is ha ha sarcasm. And she said something because on my Facebook page, I have a Facebook fan page for Not My Rabbit Hole. When I first started Not My Rabbit Hole, I called it a satirical rant for the ap apocalyptic times. That's how I was branding it. And it really, originally, that was what I wanted that show to be. Was I? It, the whole thing was like, this is not my rabbit hole. You know, like like the whole getting red pills and everything. Like like going through it and like going down the rabbit hole and trying to find a rabbit hole and then realize, you know what? 
this is just a, you know, like the whole, we've been mind controlled with it. Like the, the very essence of some of this media that's out there, like, oh, you know, breaking the matrix or getting out of the matrix or we're going down the rabbit hole and finding the real truth of what's really happening in, in the world. And then, you know, I felt so burned by the illusion of how, you know, this hashtag whatever came about and how it got, you know, associated to like Republican politics and, you know, and the whole paradigm that's happened there. I was like, you know, it's again, it's another form of like massive almost brainwashing with people. Like I'm thinking like are humans just really gullible? Like, do we just look at things we just believe in? We just get hooked into, like, you know, this belief system that happens. And, you know, people could say, well, that was kind of like a cult, right? Like, oh, they really were... Conspiracy. Take your tinfoil hat off. Marjorie, we have Marjorie uh, Taylor Greene. You know, in office now, at, at one of those people, like she's like on the forefront of that. And then, and then they, you know, there's also this um, labeling of racism uh, associated with it. And, you know, just all of it, just all of it, if you think about it. And this media participated in it. And who's behind it? Like who put money into it? How did it happen? Who got attracted to it? Who used it for their own algorithms? Well, you know, we can say Carrie Cassidy did it. We can say Stephen D. Kelly did it with, you know, him, you know, wanting to get the Getty on the on the on the on their map, signing the petitions for the White House. You know, it's like, and then we have, and then we have these real cases. We have the super soldier thing happening with like these super soldiers like Max or James Caspold saying certain things that became part of this dialogue. And so when you peel off the layers of everything, you're like, okay, well, what part of this is true? Is it the, the Jeffrey Dahmer part that, you know, the movie didn't go as much into detail about the occult aspect to it or the fact that he was like using like playing the third, you know, like the Exorcist three to get into it, to get into what he was doing. Like what, you know, I think we're all kind of curious about like what is really going on here. I'm, I'm not, my, my focus of my channel, like again, I'm not sure what I'm gonna turn into. Like I, I can see them on Sippy's channel. Oh, you know, you know, she does this, she does that, she does, you know. Well, I kind of lost the branding on what this show was in some ways. Like it wasn't like it wasn't just an exercise for me to like do try to find a comedic rant and all of this. That's originally what I was gonna do with it. But when I lost my other channel, then this became my soul channel. And then, you know, I got into looking at the deception of it all. And I found other content providers like Stephen Cambion and this and that that were doing the same thing. And I'm like, you know, I don't mind sitting here and busting a little ass and going, you know, this isn't right, this isn't right, you know, this doesn't add up. And then I discovered, you know, I started to pay attention to Deborah Director. And, you know, a whole can of worms got opened up. Like, I can even go back and say that that is when Lee Veltman started sniffing my, my channel out again. Because he was hiding in my chat room with a fake profile at that time. And it was pointed out to me on the show, my first show about Rose and about Harmony Montgomery. And then it goes to this. It goes to this other stuff. And... I think it's worth talking about even for like one night with the thing that says, you know, the fun show or whatever. I'm just, but the, um, 
getting back to the to the you know fab over 40 and i'm going to put this link in here before i go again in the chat vote for me um when i went and took a social media class i decided to to um work on becoming a social media influencer for women that are of my age and uh, just maybe doing something that would be like more inspirational like whether i win this contest or not it's launching me to continue what i went partly what you know an idea i had in school was to blog and do a channel and you know talk about how to be an older woman and still feel like still be beautiful like to bake to to break the boundaries of our stereotype of you know when we get older and it doesn't have to be just because you're you know it's not just for women but also just for people that get older i feel like we just get shoved aside like oh okay yeah like you're an old cow you know and what is there a way to inspire your life to feel that you can still contribute that you still have zest that you still have you know or you can go on another journey like you can go back to college if you want to you can do anything that your you your mind thinks you know that we're that it's not there's just i don't know and so i like the term pro age like i don't i want to i don't want to be the kind of woman that Botox is my face all up and like I, I've, I've got a bunch of fillers in and I'm trying to hold on to something. I don't, I don't want to feel like I have to hold on to something. I want to think that I can still expand. Like I, my mind can still grow. I can still, you know, do something different. And so I'm embarking on that too. Like I want to stay here, you know, I'll, I'll see, I'll keep doing not my rabbit hole. I keep talking about these particular topics. I like, kind of feel like, like I like, I like the fact that we, that, that of knowing things or, or, or expanding or knowing what the truth is or communicating what the truth is. I like woo a little bit. I like conspiracy somewhat, you know, but I'm really here because I want to find out what the truth is. You know, will I be funny again? Well, you know what? Lately, I've been writing funny. I wrote an article for the Rampage, you know, about the Biden-Harris uh, student debt loan forgiveness. And I I got feedback that it was funny. It was an opinion piece. You know, will I do, will I go on stage? Maybe I'd like to do stand-up again, but not because I, I need to be like some big star, but just because I love doing it. I just feel like sometimes like life is just one big play playground and we can go over here and learn and we can go over there and do something or we can, you know, create something else. But I definitely would like to like do something that's a little more inspirational. And as far as like not my rabbit hole, well, you know what? The reason why I came up with the name is I went, you know what? That's not my rabbit hole. Like, the 17th letter of the alphabet stuff, that's not my rabbit hole. Captain Mark Richards, that's not my rabbit hole. Okay. Lauren Pritchard, not my rabbit hole. That's why I, I came up with the name. It's not that I'm a rabbit or I'm, I'm, I'm believing this shit. I'm like, no, that's bullshit. You're, you're we're using lingo of of Alice in Wonderland, which, by the way, is part of MK Ultra Mind Control. So there you have it. All right, so I'm gonna like put, I'm gonna end up on showing the Fab for Forty thing, and then I'm just gonna let the music play out. And you know, if you guys want to make comments or whatever, I'll just put it up there. But thank you. Thank you for hanging out this late. Sleep well, everybody, or good morning, or God bless. God bless. <laughs>